Hey guys, we're back for another segment of Movement of the Week. Today I'm going to talk about lifting and carrying. Last week we talked about the deadlift. If you haven't watched the deadlift yet, you should go back and watch that one again. Uh, even watch it if you have seen it. It might be good to review before we come into this because we're going to build on the deadlift to, to get objects into a position where you can carry them. Uh, if you're doing gardening and you need to move a bag of mulch, this will be helpful. If you're moving things around the house, this will be helpful. So check out that deadlift video and then come back and watch this. That way you're nice and fresh and ready to learn this movement. You can practice this with just about anything. I use a Rogue Fitness sandbag. I use the large one and it, it weighs somewhere between 100 and 120 pounds. But the rock that I used in the deadlift video will work just fine. Some heavy object you have laying around the house will work just fine. If you're not comfortable using a heavy object, find anything. Start with a pillow if you have to. Anything to practice the motion and get the motion familiar to you. If you do like the Rogue sandbags, they come in four different sizes, so you can pick the size that works for you. And the nice thing about the sandbags is you can just add sand or take sand away to get a weight that's comfortable for you to handle. And as you get stronger, you can just add more sand. Or if you end up topping out that bag, then you're ready to move up to the next size sandbag. So check out that deadlift video, and we're gonna get right into this movement here. There's three types of carries I'm gonna show you today. So step one, I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can pick this bag up. It's gonna vary obviously depending on the object that you're picking up. So I'm gonna start with this simple because we basically did the deadlift last week, a very similar setup to the deadlift last week. I'll start with the handles, okay? And you're gonna use an intermediary step to get the bag into a position where you can get it into a carry called lapping. So lapping is just when you get the bag up off the ground and into your lap. So that's gonna look like this. Okay, now the bag is resting on my thighs and I'm free to reposition my hands however I need to. So that's lapping. So from this side, it's gonna look just like this. Deadlift it up, up to your lap, set it on your thighs. And now you're in a more stable position to adjust what you need to do with your hands. Okay, if you have an object that doesn't have handles, you're probably gonna wanna straddle it and grab it underneath here. And then you're gonna have to kinda play with it to get it into your lap. When you lap, Watch your knees. You don't want to end up doing this because that's going to put a lot of stress on the inside of your knees. If you need to reposition, bring your feet in and that'll give you a firmer platform. Okay, so now that we've covered lapping, I want to show you two, no, we'll do three different ways you can carry this bag. So the first one is going to be a low carry. It's going to be a little awkward with this bag because it's not a solid object. Things that flop around a lot, they're a little bit more awkward to carry. So the low carry looks like this. Deadlift to lap. And then you're gonna grab low on the bag and hold the bag low on your torso. Again, this is gonna look kind of funny because the bag flops around. Okay, you can see I'm holding the bag down by my hips. That's a low carry. Okay. Okay, the next carry I'm going to show is a high carry. It's a high carry because your arms are up towards your chest rather than down at your waist. This is usually, for me, a more comfortable carry. But again, it's going to depend a lot on what kind of object you're carrying. So it's going to start just the same, deadlift to lapping. And then you're going to get your hands around the object and carry it up at your chest. Okay, so this is a high carry. And you're gonna see when I carry this object, I'm leaning back at my ankles. I'm not leaning at my hips. So lean back at your ankles. That's gonna be safer for your back and you're gonna be stronger. This might feel a little awkward at first because you're not gonna be used to leaning back at your ankles. You're gonna feel it a lot in your hamstrings, a lot in your glutes, 
And you might even feel it some in your calves. Okay, the last carry I'm gonna show is gonna be the most complicated one to get to, especially with a really heavy object. The low carry and the high carry are gonna be your more go-to carries with heavier objects. The last one I'm gonna show is gonna be a shoulder carry. You're gonna get the object from the ground up to your shoulder. I think this is the most comfortable way to carry, but like I said, it's also the hardest to get an object to, especially something that's really floppy like this. So the process is gonna start the same. You're gonna deadlift up to lapping, and then you're gonna to have to do a slightly different procedure to get the bag up to your shoulder. You don't wanna wrestle it all the way up there. So you're gonna thread your arm between your legs, up and around, and then rotate over and stand up. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, now I'm up in a shoulder carry. And this, you're gonna feel most of the work over on the opposite side of the load because your torso is gonna to have to stabilize from bending. So when you're just starting out all this carrying stuff, don't do a lot of it because it's gonna make your core really, really sore. You're probably not used to carrying that kind of load on your torso if you haven't done it a lot. So you can see I got the weight pretty solid up on my shoulder and it's pretty comfortable to keep it here and move. All right, one more time from the side here. All right, so deadlift to lap, arms under, roll it up onto your shoulder. And there you go, up to a shoulder carry. So get out, play with that. It's a really, really useful tool. Like I said, if you do any kind of yard work at all, you're probably gonna get a lot of use out of these few. Try it out, see what you think. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe or share. If you have comments or questions, hit me up down below. Thanks, happy lifting.